Okay, fantastic evening everyone. Uh, good that you made it through the rain. So, great job there. Uh, the coming week, uh, even if it's raining heavier than this, we'll all have to make it to one place. Uh, this is for the uh, executive committee. We have COTP happening this 30th that we'll all have to attend and I'm sure we'll all do the same. Uh, for the further update, I'll also call in our VPM, Toastmaster Shiva. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and esteemed guests. Uh, I'd like all of you to pay attention right here because I have been explaining myself for the past uh, three weeks and it seems it is not clear. So, I'll just give you a small example. How many of you have consumed Coca-Cola? Right. Can you tell me how much half a litre of Coca-Cola costs in a, in a regular store out here? Anybody? 30 rupees. 30 rupees? 30, 60. 30. How much does it cost in a movie theatre? 150. 150 rupees. <laughs> 350. <laughs> the only difference there is the location. right? Movie theatre or uh, in a regular store. There is one more thing that will make a difference and that is time. And you have 4 days left. To all the new members and to all the members who are yet to renew, you have four more days to renew at the same old rate of 4,200 rupees. And beyond that, beyond the 28th, 28th of this month, I would recommend paying at your own risk because the website might not accept your payment because of high traffic and all the other clubs trying to uh, renew at the same time. So I request everybody. Uh, who has not renewed will be watching the video uh, to renew at the earliest at 4200 and after that date the renewals will still be open you will have to do it at a higher rate so and uh, all the guests today I know this might be a bit too early but if you want to join the club uh, there is no better time than now I know it is a bit early you are all attending for the first time but you can uh, join the club at the same rate of $45 which Toastmasters International has put down after that, after 31st of July, the rate increases uh, to $60, right? So you will have to pay an increased amount for the same period, uh, which you'll be paying 45 right now. So if you've made up your mind, you can do that also. So that's it and over to the president. Uh, thank you so much, Sosmas Shiva, for that much needed clarity. And uh, from VP Education, I have uh, following the, I have uh, an update. The following roads have been booked as a part of our next week's Icebreaker Marathon. This, the speech slots have been booked by Toastmaster Lata, Toastmaster Karthik and Toastmaster Mahesh Bhatt. The GE role has been booked by Toastmaster Jyoti Rao. Except this, all the other roles are open for others to take it up. With that, I think uh, I'm done from the business session. We'll now request the sergeant to take over. Good evening everyone and dear guests and all the Toastmasters, welcome in this rainy season. The theme of the topic today itself is a rainmaker. So the moment we think of rainmaking, what we can guess is clouds. The heavy clouds will form a rain, that's what the science tells us. But what exactly the rainmaker is what I am going to link now is when a heavy clouds are formed, the rain comes down. That's what the science tells. But as a human, even we have a heaviness in our minds. Whatever, whenever we get heavy in our minds, the rain comes out in the form of our tears, our shoutings, or silence, or any emotions which we are comfortable in. So now, just now when it was raining around four o'clock, I went to get my kids from the school the way they protected me, even though they were drenching, they were putting their hands, somehow you should not get drained. It feels so emotionally how much they are attached to that, that mom should not get drenched in the rain. And when I remember in uh, my childhood, we, whenever the rain comes in village, all the waters used to come flooding in front of the house and we used to go play in the rain. And after the rain stops, the Insects used to come to eat uh, the flies, whichever. And to eat that insects, the scorpions used to come, that, uh, and the cancer that used to come to eat those insects. 
so everybody links rainmaker to something or the others so in this mekon we have such a rainmaker the moment he comes upon the stage everybody will be waiting what is the message he is going to give us I mean, what he is going to pour out today in the form of the droplets we will be eagerly waiting what he is going to you know give us to take away to the home like he is an uh, active a uh, member in the mekon club and he is very enthusiastic in traveling and he is worried about or he avoids resource consumption i don't know what does it mean by resource consumption i feel it is nothing but the technology or the gadgets or you can say the always be on the whatsapp or the facebook that's what i link up to so let's put our rain maker of the day our president mr balaji toastmaster thank you so much uh, toastmaster mamta for that beautiful and warm welcome with that uh, we have quite a few guests today so looks like the rain makers of mekon have, ma have have done a good job so let's go ahead and hear from our guests sir if you could introduce yourself sure uh, my hi my name is rajesh rao uh, i'm here from mekon if you want to participate in toastmaster so we are here to honor you I thought it's the first time she's coming out of the house for such an event. So I wanted to accompany her. Fantastic! Just an update: we're not just for daughters, we're also for the dads. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you so much. Yes. Hi, my name is Shreya. I'm studying engineering at Diamond Sagar, and I wanted to check out Toastmasters because I'm not very good at speaking in front of people, and I get nervous easily, and I want to get better. Yes, ma'am. Hi, I am Hema. I am from Hospital. Past the one month only we transferred to here. Means I am shifted because of my children. Okay, both are studying in Delhi. My son is at Abhi College. Now we are in search of college for engineering. Okay, this is, I am telling seriously because I, I have zero knowledge of this one. Now only I am hearing that we call communication class. Seriously, my husband ordered that go on ahead. That's it. Or he said, "We get. He's on the way. He's stuck in traffic." Seriously, I don't have any knowledge of this. I don't know what to do and what to talk also because of my daughter. We came. I'm glad you did the job of rainmaker in your life. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> yes. It's okay. You tell your name. Hi, my name is Vandashri. Today I am here to join the Toastmasters. That's it. Fantastic. <laughs> Super. Anyone else? Yes. Hello, everyone. Uh, Vijay here. Uh, I have to confess something. Uh, I am the guest added in a WhatsApp group before two years, but finally I landed up today. Uh, I have decided my mind <laughs> to come here. So let's see how the journey goes. Super. <laughs> I think she, uh, Toastmaster Shiva, it's high time you be the rainmaker in his life. <laughs> yeah, that's drought face for two years. That's bad. <laughs> uh, yes. Hi guys, my name is Jinmay Dia. I am uh, studying at Ramana uh, Institute of Technology, second year, Electronics and Communication. I am uh, here because uh, my uncle uh, suggested me to join this Toastmaster Club because it will improve my presentation skills as well as speaking skills and also gain confidence as well. So it's pleasure to meet all of you. I hope uh, like I can learn a lot here and enjoy at the same time as well. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. It was so good to see each of you speak. While uh, before we could even continue, there is another rainmaker in this club uh, who starts the earliest. Like like Toastmaster Shiva said, uh, the standard was seven a.m. But here we start with the rainfall at 5 a.m. When those days when people used to wake up because of that WhatsApp twink, here is the first time that I'm actually waking up for an email twink. <laughs> Make some noise for a very very dedicated, disciplined, and highly enthusiastic secretary, Toastmaster Sharan.
Thank you, Toastmaster Balaji. A very good evening to all the fellow Toastmasters and their esteemed guests present here. Here are the meeting uh, minutes of meeting number one triple two held on seventeenth of July, twenty twenty three. The theme was change is inevitable. Word of the week was earmark. The business session started at six thirty pm and was chaired by President Toastmaster Balaji. In the business session, the following points were addressed. President Toastmaster Balaji acknowledged the, president, uh, the presence of area director Toastmaster Vijay Prabhudevan. Vice President pa uh, Membership Toastmaster Shiva Prasad announced that the renewals for the next term, October 2023 to March 2024, has been open. If the members opt to do it before 31st of July 2023, the membership renewal shall remain Rs 4,200, that is 700 per month. After 31st of July 2023, the renewal should be made at an increased amount that will be approximately between 5,500 to 6,000 for the same renewal period. For the members who opt to pay the renewal dues within 31st of July 2023 will be receiving an individual recognition and a small token of appreciation from District 121. Vice President Education Toastmaster Ujwal mentioned that 24th and 31st of July 2023 will be an icebreaker marathon. Except for two speed slots, MC and a general evaluator, all the roles were open for the next meeting and interested members were requested to contact him. The regular meeting started at 6.32 p.m. Sergeant at Arms Toastmaster Lakshmi started a meeting with an introduction about theme and later handed over the charge to President Toastmaster Balaji. President Toastmaster Balaji opened the meeting, spoke on the theme and introduced the Master of Ceremonies Toastmaster Mamata. Master of Ceremonies Toastmaster Mamata spoke on the theme and introduced the following role takers for the day. To Timer Toastmaster Sharanye, Our Counter Toastmaster Abhiman, Grammarian Toastmaster Sushrut, PP Evaluator Toastmaster Anusha. The prepared speech session had the following speakers. Toastmaster Jyoti attempting level 3 elective project which was evaluated by Toastmaster Vijay Upendra. Toastmaster Mehajveen attempting level 1 project 3 which was evaluated by Toastmaster Pavani. The table topic session was conducted by Toastmaster Keetana and had 10 speakers in total. The general evaluation was conducted by Toastmaster Shiva Prasad. The winners of the week were best prepared uh, speech speaker. Toastmaster Jyoti, Best Evaluator Toastmaster Pavani, Best Table Topic Speaker DTM MU Butt, Best Role Taker Tab G Toastmaster Sharanye, Best Role Taker MTG Toastmaster Shiva Prasad. The President closed the meeting at 8.36 pm which was followed by National Anthem. Thank you and back to you. Thank you so much uh, Toastmaster Sharanye for that, uh, I will never use the word brief with that report but for that very good report. With that, I'd like to uh, start off with a question for the day. How many of you have businesses or are associated with any business? Okay, quite a few of you. And another question to all of you. Have you ever been that person who is chosen a business that you know because they're either friend or their family have you ever done that only their only qualification is either they're a friend or family have you ever done that and if you have done that can you please give yourselves a nice round of applause this was the time when I started hosting and I, I thought you know what in college I have always been into events. I have always been taking the stage. So I thought hosting is the right profession for me. And when I started hosting, I had a lot of my friends who called me. They became the first ones to get in touch with me and got me to host their events. And there I had another set of friends. In fact, I have to be very, very proud of this very elaborate and huge circle of friends and I thought with such a huge circle of friends I don't really have to worry about business but after the first three months of events I went on for the next four months of absolutely no rain in my life four months of just Netflix and chill and that's when I started asking my friends, man, you had your event. How come you didn't get in touch with me? And the only sentence they used and said was, Balaji, you all know how you speak, man. Come on, your family. 
Come on, you're my best friend. I can't make you speak in my event while I enjoy my event. I want you to be my guest. And that's when I got clarity. They didn't really want to give me that job. And of course, they gave me reasons. And now this is the exact situation so many of us, either who own a business, either who are associated with the business, and the worst of all, even if you are a part of Mekon, where a club is set up for so many of you to create a platform, to open a gate where they can come in here and learn the art of communication. So many of us don't introduce the people of our own lives to places like this, to the businesses that are close to us and how many of us actually purchase things from our friends and family. And if we are not doing that, why are we calling ourselves friends and family? If you own a business, your first and foremost concern would be, would my friends and family purchase? And before the start of business, you all say yes to that. And once you start, you'll actually find out who your true friends are. And these are the same people who would choose any X, Y, and Z just because they are selling the same product at two rupees or three rupees lesser than this person. Shouldn't you be that person who becomes the rainmaker in this person's life? Because I have to tell you, Today, I am being a rainmaker in my school because we are introducing gavel clubs for students who are aged 12, 13, 14 and 15. And all these students think they are the winners. But I have to tell you, the real and true winner is me. Because when you are the rainmaker in someone else's life, they might receive the benefit. But the abundance that the rainmaker receives, only the rainmaker knows. So I'm just going to say you all be the rainmaker. And we have guests here today. Can you please point out at that person, if that person's here, who actually got you into this room today? If that person's here. Okay, he got you here. Okay, fantastic. Shiva, Shiva got you here. Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> so, so can we have these three? Please stand, Toastmaster Shiva, and sir yourself. And can we all give them a nice round of applause because these are the rainmakers. Now the job. Thank you so much. Now the job that they have done is bring in abundance in someone's life and they have no idea about the abundance that they are going to receive in return. So let's promote the people that we know. Let's promote the organizations that we are a part of. And let's promote the people who we consider as our people. With that thought, I would now like to open this amazing yet another session of Toastmasters at Mekon Communication Club, which ma'am is always going to say, I remember. Yeah. With that, we all remember this person's entry to Toastmasters. We always looked up to her because of the fascinating growth that she showcased. Testing waters for her is nothing because she's tested all the waters. She's been giving humor speeches and she's been giving serious speeches. And sometimes she gets serious about humor speeches. She's been there, done that, and today she's going to take it a notch higher. Let's give a nice round of applause for the master of today, Toastmaster Jyoti. Balaji for that awesome introduction. Good evening Toastmasters and guests. A couple of weeks back after our Monday meeting as I was going home walking it started raining. The rain water and the cool breeze 
sprayed on my face and the new zest seeped within me. A thought occurred that I too should be a grain maker, not knowing exactly what it meant. But then and then I decided that my next MC topic would be a rainmaker. As soon as I went home, I asked Google and Google gave me two meanings. The first one, a rainmaker is a person who creates rain to fall either by rituals or by scientific reasons. And the second meaning is a person who generates income for a business or an organization by attracting clients and funds. Both have the same meaning, progress and prosper in life. Being rainmaker, we create opportunities for ourselves to bring in that zest in our life and in the process bring in a vast abundance of lushness to others. One such person who was a rainmaker and brought lushness in our life was Dr. Ralph C. Smidley, founder of Toastmasters Club. In the year 1924, at St. Anna's, California, in the YMCA basement on 22nd October, the first meeting was uh, executed. Today, in, we have Toastmasters Club in 149 countries, around 15,800 clubs are there, with more than 2,80,000 members in these club. The motto of Toastmasters is where leaders are made. And our Mekong Communication Club, founded in 1998, helps us exactly to be the same, fearless to conquer our fear and improve ourselves in our leadership qualities. Now we have a team of four who are the rainmakers and give value to the time, the crutch words that we use, the grammar that must be used, and the parliamentary procedure to enable themselves and all of us to flourish in our journey. So as I call upon the role takers, please come and uh, talk about your role. We have Toastmaster Abhiban as a uh, timer role. About time. The bad news is time flies, but the good news is you are the pilot. So now coming back to good evening Toastmasters and fellow guests. As a timer, I will time the table topic speakers, formal speeches and evaluations. I will also alert each I will also alert each speaker of the time they have left using the yellow, using the green, yellow, and red cards to denote the specific times remaining. Table topic speakers should limit their remarks to no more than two minutes. At one minute, I'll raise the green card. At one and a half minute, I will raise the yellow card. At two minutes, I will raise the red card. For As there are only icebreaker speeches today, the speeches should be between four to six minutes. At four minutes, I will raise the green card. At five minutes, I will raise the yellow card. At six minutes, I will raise the red card. And individual evaluation should be between two to three minutes. At two minutes, I will raise the green card. At two and a half minutes, I will raise the yellow card. At three minutes, I will raise the red card. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Abhima. Next, we have Toastmaster Sushrut for our counter. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and esteemed guests. As and ums sound soothing and pleasant. Only in a Hindustani concert. <laughs> <laughs> but never behind a lens. <laughs> so as a, uh, as a uh, our counter for the day, I'll be counting on uh, as and ums or any other class word used, used by the speaker behind the lecture. 
and i'll give i'll be giving a uh, giving my uh, reports when called <laughs> Toastmaster Sushrut, and now we have Toastmaster Shiva as grammarian. Thank you, Master of Ceremonies. Once again, very good evening to my fellow Toastmasters and esteemed guests. Uh, whether you are a rainmaker or not, using good grammar and good English can make you look like one. Right? So, in every Toastmasters meeting, we have a grammarian who, uh, you know, makes note of the good usages of English and uh, not so good usages wherein I'll be suggesting improvements uh, for the same uh, usages. We also have a word of the day which is exceed. It, it does sound like exceed but it is exceed. Uh, that, that is the pronunciation as far as I know. A double C E C D E. So the meaning, meaning of this is agree to a demand, request or treat. And how to use this in English one sample sentence would be I exceeded to the demands of my vice president membership and renewed my membership finally. <laughs> uh, I hope everybody uses the word of the day. Whoever gets a chance to speak at the lectern, please do uh, make a note of that. And uh, that's it, and back to the master of service. Thank you, Toastmaster Shiva. And now we have Toastmaster Gaurav as the parliamentary procedure evaluator. I'm back to business being behind the lecture. Uh, very good evening to all Toastmasters and to all the guests present here. I don't have any catchy opening like normally I did. <laughs> I just keep it short and sweet. Uh, as the parliamentary procedure evaluator, I request all the speakers will be coming behind the lectern to refrain talking about sex, religion, and politics because it's a very sensitive matter and it might affect others' uh, intentions. And I request all the members as the sergeant told in the beginning to please keep your phones on silent. If you have not done that, please do do now. And please entry and exit the meeting all only during the applause, not while someone is speaking because it might disturb the ambience and the speaker. That's all from my end. I'll give my report at the end. Thank you and back to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Gaurav. Well, for the benefit of the guest, a typical Toastmaster session is split up into uh, three parts. The first one is the prepared speech, where the speaker gets time to prepare and the topic is selected as per the pathways they have chosen. Uh, the second session is the table topic session. It is the most exciting session. Here the table topic master will give a topic randomly to the members to speak on for a couple of minutes, one to two minutes. And the third session is the learning session where we all learn to know why and how is it important to give and receive feedbacks. So let's start with the first session. Today we have ice break marathon speeches. So the first speaker, before I call upon the first speaker, I would request the speech evaluator, Toastmaster Sharani, to please read out the guidelines of the speech. Thank you, Toastmaster Jyoti. A very good evening, everyone. Here are the project guidelines for today's speech. The purpose statement, the purpose of this project is for the member to introduce themselves to the club and learn the basic structure of a public speech. Notes for the evaluator, that is me. This member is completing their first speech in Toastmasters. The goal of the evaluation is to give the member an effective evaluation of their speech and delivery style. Because the icebreaker is the first project a member completes, you may choose to use only the notes section and not the numerical score. All the best to the speaker and back to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Sharini. The first speech, icebreak speech, here I will not be introducing the speaker because the speaker will be introducing themselves. The first speech title is Who Am I? The first speech title is Who Am I? And let us give uh, with a let us welcome Toastmaster. No. 
Let us welcome the radiant Toastmaster Kirtana with a big round of applause.
So I took my baby steps as a preschool teacher and then I slowly moved on to become the director of a brand called A Plus where we empower children to be the best version of themselves. And in that pursuit, I joined Toastmasters. So there's this wonderful story why I joined Toastmasters. You know, uh, because I have to meet parents and you know, uh, they are children and you know, we have to get them enrolled. Uh, a parent came and uh, you know, we were talking and then uh, I, did, I took her through the enro enrollment procedure and after that while she was leaving, she told me one sentence, Kirtna, I'm very happy that my child has jo joined A plus because you're such a good public speaker. I was like, something made me uncomfortable. I smiled and I said, okay. And then the next day I had to meet another parent. It was control A, control C, control V. I took them through the enrollment procedure. I was walking them out and they told me the same thing. Chief Nabi, you're very happy. You're, you're such a good public speaker. Something in me made me very uncomfortable. While I was walking up the stairs, I was thinking, what is it that is making me uncomfortable? It is then I realized I am not, I am not a good public speaker. So I have to take action. So to remove that not in the sentence, I joined Toastmasters. From I am not a good public speaker to be a good public speaker. So that has been my intention of joining Toastmasters with tremendous amount of humility and gratitude to the universe and to all you lovely people. This is my first public speech. Thank you so much. Master Kirtana, that indeed was a very awakening speech for a icebreak. And I'm, I'm lost there with your <clears throat> speech. I'm coming back here. <laughs> <laughs> Our next speech again is a icebreak, and maybe I can skip the uh, evaluators speak so we will go on directly to the second speaker and again I will not introduce you to the speaker because the speaker will be introducing herself and let us welcome the next speaker with the title Jack of All Master of None. Jack of All Master of None let us welcome the young and bubbly Toastmaster Anusha with a huge round of applause. Jack of all, master of none. What a strange title for icebreaker, isn't it? But wait, the conundrum will be resolved soon. Good evening, Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and my dear guest. I am Anusha Nayak, here to give you a small initial chapter of my autobiography. Okay, maybe not an autobiography, but like my small memoir. Let's start with a date, June 21st. What is it? Sorry? Yes. <laughs> so, June 21st, it is the summer solstice, longest day of the year, and International Yoga Day. But yet another important event, my birthday. So, this year, I turned 21 on 21st. And if this year was 2021, then I would have turned 21 on 21st of in the year 21. But it's okay, it's 2023. So, moving on. This is my family. So let me tell you a little about them. Both my parents are doctors. And to add on, my grandfather is also a doctor. But am I pursuing medical? I don't know. Let's see. You'll know that in the future, next chapters. So as a small child, I used to get a lot of attention because I was like the first born and the kid who was supposed to carry the family's uh, prestige, blah, 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 blah. But then, uh, this one child came and took away all my attention <laughs> and suddenly the limelight that was entirely on me just went woof and to her. And then my new mission started and that mission was to shift her limelight. And guess what my mission was? 
to get a puppy. And let's see where that goes to. Next. Next chapter. So, um, because since I was the first child, you know, I was like that, uh, make the perfect kid. So I was that experiment kid in the family. So I was put into like a lot of activities. And my earliest remembrance of one activity was singing. And God, I was so bad at singing. But then like, you know, my granny put me into it. I was small, I can't say no. So I went. So I went, I learned and they thought I sang and what not, what not. And then the worst part was, whenever <coughs> guests came to the fire, came home, they would be like, I'm singing. And I'd be like, why? Because you're going to classes. And God, I was so bad. And only if I go to classes, this Anusha sing entire thing happens, right? So I left the class. And then I joined drawing class. And I was also, I liked art. I was a little creative. I was colorful. And I ended up going to art classes for quite some time. And I still sketch and paint often when and how my mood depends on my mood. And then um, swimming. Swimming was my summer routine. So every year, whenever summer, my cousins used to come, and my mom used to take all of his cousins, take us, and put us into a swimming pool. And so that's how I learned swimming, and I'm still very good at it. Swimming continued to skating. And skating, this is one sport everyone thinks that they will play nationals, right? And they will go big, and because they love it. And that was skating for me. I loved skating that whenever, and because I was the best in my batch. And when you go, that speed and that little leg soreness and all that, it was just perfect for me. But then, you know, life happened and then college studies, so I had to eventually go down. And then in my high school days, I was mostly into throwball, basketball. But that was like, you know, usual college sport, school sport. And I mainly joined because I wanted to bunk classes. I didn't really want to sit. Although I was a bright student, but then like, you know, sitting in classes is not so cool. So I joined these sports and I was good at it. We went to a couple of um, competitions here and there and that was that. And then eventually I joined into badminton. And now currently I am a marathon runner and I have completed a 5 km and a 10 and I am training for 21. And since marathon requires a lot of um, fitness, I am also a gym freak and I am pretty regular and on and off, let's say that. Okay, coming back to my title. How many of you have heard this? Jack of all, master of none. How many of you also know that it is an incomplete quote? Let's complete my title then. Next. Jack of all, master of none, but oftentimes better than master of one. Now that fits me right, doesn't it? Going to the next chapter. So the, there was a mission from uh, my childhood I told you about, right? Getting, shifting mother limelight. And finally, after 18 years of a seed, my parents finally decided we'll get a puppy. And this is little Cheese. He is a small Shih Tzu and we got him on June 2021. 20, and he looks small, cute, fluffy, notorious. But he is not. He is a little beast. And he is the one who just shifted my sister's limelight but now he has too much attention and he needs a little partner so now again i'm on another mission of convincing my parents to get another little dog but let's see how that goes so chapter four currently i'm so i told you right my entire family is filled with doctors and i had to be the one that continued the family doctor heritage but then i jumped into engineering if you want to know the reasons i will tell you later meet me soon so i am a fourth year engineering student at uh, at ps university although i'm not much into tech i'm more into finance and management this is just a career for me to go to management side and i'm planning to pursue my masters after my graduation so that we should see how that goes and my hobbies are mostly trekking i love trekking and all along with trekking i love the sunset at beaches so that's another my go-to spot for therapy i'd say and one of my major goals probably is to trek the top seven peaks in seven continents too ambitious 
I don't know, maybe, maybe not, but time will tell. Let's see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Anusha, and wow, that was some peak in your life. I am tired. <laughs> With so much of your activities. And now we move on to the most thrilling and exciting session, the table topic session. A table topic master for today has seven years of enriching corporate experience and a decade of freelance, freelancing in different roles. She is passionate about skill development and copywriting. Her hobbies are reading, music, dancing, traveling, writing, and some more for the next time when we, she comes, we will talk about it. So with a big round of applause, let's welcome the charming Toastmaster, Lata Nahar. Good evening, everyone. OK, now I get the table topic today. And the theme today being Rainmaker. Now, I take the second meaning of it, that is a person gets a lot of income for the business. Now, we know when a person gets a lot of income to the business, he'll have certain skill sets, which makes him or her stand apart from the crowd. That's the reason why he's getting business to us. So keeping that skill sets in mind, I have prepared my topics for today. Now, my first topic is confidence to me is. I repeat it. Confidence to me is. And I would like to call upon Toastmaster Gaurav for this. A very good evening to all the Toastmasters and all the guests present once again. Well, there are, you know, if you ask someone what is confidence to you, many people say many definitions. Maybe someone say it's how you portray yourself in front of the audience or in front of the people you are meeting. And But for me, confidence is what you do, you should do it with perfection. Like I, I'm, I'm someone who worked two years in PwC and currently I'm pursuing, trying to pursue my masters. I joined PwC thinking it's a very big four company. That's my dream company. So I just went there just with a, you know, with a blind eye. But I am from a BCom background and I got into a tech work. I was supposed to do testing of the applications. I didn't know anything about testing, not even a bit of coding as well. Then I made up my mind. I've come into my you know, very good company, the dream company. I wanted to join in. So I just learned coding, few, few uh, little bit of coding and what actual testing is all about. I got in touch with my seniors, all my colleagues, and they taught me well. Well, in fact, I'm proud to say that this I I left two one month back, and I was awarded as the best employee for the financial year 2022 2023. Me being a BCom graduate and getting into a tech company and being an employee of the year, it was actually a dream come true. And that too from a very big company as well. So I would say if, if you are good at what you do, if you are not good at, good at it, it's OK. You can always learn. And whatever you do, do, do it at perfection, because that is what is confidence according to me. Thank you and that. A very beautiful example given of what confidence is in a human life. Now moving on to the next topic, my strength is. My strength is. And this topic would go to Toastmaster Lata Sangi. Good evening, all the Toastmasters and dear guests. Strength. Strength is to me is like in any situation, in every way, even when you know that uh, you may fall or there are situations when you just don't know what you're supposed to do and still when you stand strong, face that and you plan what's the next thing you want to do and you just move ahead thinking, okay, I can do it. And when you, you know there's no one around you and you have no options in life, at that time you just, I'm strong enough, I can do it. Yes, I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. That's the one thing you keep saying. Your strength is there. That's it for me. That, that is a strength. Thank you. 
Beautifully having confidence in yourself and saying, I will do it, matters the most. Now, going to the next topic. It's I, me, myself. I, me, myself. And this topic goes to Toastmaster Shiva. Thank you, Table Topics Master, for that very uh, selfish topic. <laughs> <laughs> I, me, and myself. In this entire world to any human being, nothing is more important than themselves. This is what I firmly believe. First you help yourself and then you help others. Uh, just yesterday, we, uh, we were coming back from Hawaiian we were traveling on Mysore Road and on the way we could see an Ertiga right, uh, car uh, toppled around the side of the road, onto the service road. And most probably somebody had died. And a lot of people were gathered there and I could see people were stopping and people were uh, you know, trying to you know, maybe call the ambulance or help or something. But what did we do? We drove on. Because we wanted to get home early and we wanted to get to bed early and sleep that night. But if we had stopped and uh, probably checked, you know, maybe somebody's life would have been saved. But you have to prioritize yourself uh, even in times like this because you know that uh, as Indians, you know that you are used to accidents like these. Things keep happening, things keep going wrong. But you want to get home early, no matter what happens, you're like, okay, it keeps happening, so what? Uh, it is, you can, you can take it as exceeded, right? Uh, okay, an accident. Okay, somebody got molested in Manipur. Money, money what can I do? I, me and myself, I'll continue my career, I'll attend the Toastmasters meeting as usual. What is the point, right? So, at times I would say, uh, you have to prioritize yourself, you, as, as, as uh, Raghu Dixit would like to say, or, or not Raghu Dixit, uh, as uh, one of the songs that he has popularized, by one of very, one very famous poet. Lokada Kalaji Maruti Nanti, Ningyar Badantara Madapa Chinti. So, if you keep worrying about the world, when will you live your life, right? But that does not mean, please, uh, don't help anybody who is involved in an accident. Please try your best, but always prioritize yourself. Uh, with that, back to the table topics, Master. Prioritization is subjective and it depends on human to human. Next topic, happiness to me is, happiness to me is, goes to Toastmaster Sai Sehan. Thank you for the topic, David Master. Good evening, guests. My response would be something on contrast of what Shiva exactly said right now. For me, happiness was always trying to help others. Right from my school, my school's motive said service before self. And that somehow been engraved in me so deeply that I follow it to date. I may be in a difficult situation, but someone comes to me and asks me for help. The first thing that I do is I drop everything and I just go help them. It's come at a cost to me, no doubt. I've lost a lot of opportunities that way. I've lost a lot of uh, friends that way. But then, at the end of the day, when I knew that I helped somebody, I was happy. I slept really well that night. There was this one time, an old man was asking me for a drop. And my father keeps telling me one thing, don't drop strangers on the road. I somehow tend to ignore that. And every time I see someone drop, I just closely, I just stop there, no matter where he has to go, even if it is out of my way, I go there, I drop them and I go wherever I have to. I've missed the first period of so many classes by dropping people on the way to college. <laughs> <laughs> it was a genuine concern, but the teachers think I was trying to, I slept late or woke up late. But then, I was happy thinking, okay, I know I have dropped this person. And that's what happiness is to me. Happiness and self-satisfaction very well defined. Okay, moving on to the next topic. Describe your Toastmasters journey until now. Describe your Toastmasters journey until now. And this topic goes to Toastmaster and you Bhatt.
Marginal Topic Master for the Toastmasters welcome guests. Uh, table topic session they give, timer is raising my rent at two minutes. And I have completed 25 years in Toastmasters. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a big, big task for me to share my long, long journey in Toastmasters. But all I can say is, a Toastmasters, my Toastmasters journey from 1998 to as of today has been, if you have to say in one word, it is fulfilling. It's fulfilling in more than one way. How do you do that? If, you know, initially we started this club, we started with the big intention of you know preparing our employees in Macon to improve their communication and leadership skills. But over all the year, over the years, slowly I understood that this Toastmasters movement is not just about communication and leadership. It is about the overall personality development. That's why, and it's an ongoing personality development. The person, the person enters at this level and he gets on, he becomes a better and better person. That's why you always call it better speaking, better listening, better thinking. We don't say best speaker, best thinking, or we don't say better. From yesterday, we become better tomorrow. That's based on the Japanese principle of Kaizen, if you remember, if you know about it. So every day we improve ourselves. And that has been happening in this club from the beginning of the last 30, 25 years has been continued. That's why we have made a big name in Postmasters fraternity. People just flock to our club just because we have made name for in that direction. To develop people in all aspects of communication leadership and development of overall personality. I've seen the shy and individual blossom into power, not only powerful speakers but wonderful people. I always attend Toastmasters because I feel that is what I call, you know, I am not a, an atheist in the form of a, you may say, at best an agnostic, but I use, use it as a, an intellectual satsang of its kind, the only of its kind. And that has been a fulfilling journey for me, not because it's only if it has been helped me, it has fulfilled me because as a leader of one of the founder members of the club, we have been encouraging so many people in this direction in getting their uh, personality improved and their communication leadership improved. And that is the one which is satisfies me and that probably sums up my 25 years of journey in Postmasters. With that, back to you. beautiful journey of fulfillment. My next topic is one thought of wisdom I would like to share to the world. One thought of wisdom I would like to share to the world. And this goes to Toastmaster A.K. Prabhakar. One thought of what? One thought of wisdom I would like to share. One thought of wisdom I would like to share to the world. Madam Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. One, there are many thoughts. That's one thought, one single thought. I would have to really rely on um, Indian philosophy. I would like to rely on that. It is uh, it's a sort of a journey that uh, how do you, it's best expressed in uh, what uh, Bhartri Hari says in his Niti Shataka, the first stanza of Niti Shataka. I recite and translate that, and it goes like this Dikkalat Anavachinya. Dik means direction. Some entity has no direction. Dikkala, it has no time. Anavachinya, it is indivisible. Ananta Chinmatra Murta. Ananta is infinite. Ananta Chinmatra Murta. It is Chinmatra inside it. But how do you know it is there? It's, it goes like this. You accept that it is there because of your perception inside. And Namashantaya Tejas. For that Tejas I hope. There is something special inside each man. And that manifests in the form of a, for example, like a person like me, person like him, person like you. It's what Swami Vivekananda calls that God, man is a manifestation of perfection. Perfection is an entity. And the absolute thing that he is talking of is something that is related to uh, what Bhartuhari has said in his Niti Shataka. It's an immortal statement. So 
it is expressed in different ways if you try to understand that's the basic philosophy indian philosophy of dvaita advaita vishishta advaita and two minutes may not be sufficient but the thing is that we progress from recognizing our body as ourselves and later on others body as themselves and then we say that okay no it is after some time we become we know we are going something like a wave in a, on a sea and see the wave knows it is there and at the end of it it's going to hit the beach and die and the wave knows both and wave knows without see itself it doesn't exist that is vishishta advaita and then advaita is seeing yourself there is something special inside you that is driving you you may not be aware of that you are not your senses your eyes your arms nothing but there is something else that drives you and what is that drives you is the one that abhartari says it says in niti shataka and says namashanta yatejas that is one thought i would like to talk about over to table topic in indian philosophy best explained in 120 seconds okay my next topic would be the value of money in my life the value of money in my life and this topic goes to toastmaster shushrut good evening fellow toastmasters and esteemed guests it's been a long time i've been as a table topic speaker so i'm a little bit confused what shall i say say about money something that is almost like oxygen to this world today whatever we do we may decide to come toastmasters after uh, coming out of our job or we may uh, think of going to a dinner after toastmasters everything is financial decision right everything uh, is involved in money every single decisions we take every single actions has a money value to it we also have a time value but money value is something uh, that is visible so i think uh, one topic is the value of money in my life in my life okay Uh, so yeah i think money as a financial per, as a cfa gra- uh, like person who is pursuing cfa we always think time is money because we have a, a thing called futures and options uh, in stock market <laughs> which act- actually uh, like the options which actually uh, goes down over the time so we always say time is money so i think i i should definitely value uh, money as much as i value my time something that is always depreciating and uh, something that is always precious so uh, i can say money is as valuable uh, as valuable as oxygen in my life i i in every decision i take money is money, money is an involvement so money is very much important and that is the value in my life and back to earth Money is oxygen of life. A very good line, but <coughs> those matters should stop. Next one, my role model in my professional life and why? My role model in my professional life and why? And this goes to Toastmaster Abhiman. expect to speak actually this is the first time i'm speaking a table topic uh, topic so my role model my professional life will be actually i'm not sure of what profession also to do properly so <laughs> <laughs> in my life it will be a spiritual leader called uh, satguru he taught me so many things and i've had some spiritual experiences also following satguru and uh, one experience was when i experienced uh, like everything as one energy that was a very profound experience that i experienced and uh, and once so oh, he has taught me so many advices and uh, i practice his yoga also every day and two times a day i practice his yoga and uh, he taught me the meaning of life and he taught me that uh, life because i was always confused actually in the starting that life was uh, too short and 
and it was uh, and there's so many issues in life that we people have to face i was always I was confused for one year actually i was thinking for the whole time dying on my bed and just thinking that life is so short and there's so many problems to face what can the meaning be of life then i got a spiritual experience so i'm grateful to him thank you Avinman very well explained that how spirituality can help you. Now, coming to the last topic of the day, work-life balance. Now, all of us know what work-life balance, right? I'm talking about our personal life and professional life. How do we balance so that we talk about work-life balance? Now, work-life balance, what it means to me. Work-life balance, what it means to me. Now, this topic goes to Toastmaster Karthik. Since he wants to do it next time, I would like to give another topic. Okay, success to me is success to me is, and I would like to call upon our guest Shreya for this topic. The topic you have is success to me. I think giving this speech also in a way makes me feel kind of successful because I have never done this in my life and so this is the first time and even though I am nervous, I'm very grateful to my dad for making me come here and making me uh, into the best version of myself that I can be and yeah, thank you. Applause. Give applause for a second. <laughs> I was never like that. In my days, I was. <laughs> so, today we are talking about what success to me, success to her means, and give us the perspective on what she, it means to her. Now, when we talk about continuing the topic, and since I'm ending the table topic session right now, and being a rainmaker. Now, when we talk about rainmaker, I think all of us aim and strive to be a rainmaker in our own lives and in other lives. So we can take steps like these, come behind this lecture, talk, be confident, because with confidence comes a lot of happiness and a lot of success. So thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you Toastmaster Lata for that wonderful table topic. Did I not tell you it will be thrilling and exciting, thrilling for the speakers? and exciting for the listeners. Yeah, really for the guests for as well. Um, so as per uh, the word of the day, a saying of myself, let's break, uh, let's take a network break and then meet after 10 minutes. Good evening and welcome, welcome back to all the Toastmasters and guests. I'm sure you all had a good snacks and there was much to talk because the speakers and the uh, table topic session went on very well. And I'm sure the next wonderful session, I always call it as an ocean of learning because this session teaches us 
what challenges we can further take to make ourselves better and create our own reign for ourselves. So today we have a very special person who is an experienced technology profession by profession. She is an electronics and in, uh, communication engineer with a master's in computer science from Arizona State of University. She enjoys reading, listening to music, and she herself plays the veena. I am in awe of this mesmerizing speaker. And let's put our hands together to welcome Toastmaster Lakshmi as general evaluator. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. I am in awe of myself after that lovely introduction, so thank you. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome all, all of you guests. I'm sure you will all accede to my two claims. The rain gods were busy today. And the other one was, it was a fun session. Do you all agree? Yes. 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 So it was cloud seeded by our uh, sergeant at arms who did a wonderful job and enthusiastic session engineering by our Toastmaster, Madam Toastmaster of the day and thought provoking table topics by our table topics master leading to a rain making session I think. So it is now time to review the quality of rain making that we did and see what we can do better for next time. The general evaluation session for the benefit of the guests is where we take a look at the proceedings of the session and see how we did and what we may be able to do better for next time. So let's start. The meeting started at 6.24. We are supposed to start at 6.15. Um, nine minutes, I think we can blame it on the weather and say we did well and move on. <laughs> <laughs> there was a brief business session by the president where he announced and reminded us again very nicely that it was uh, the COTP session is on the 30th and the EC members uh, will all be attending, informals. So, and then he handed over charge to the VPM, Toastmaster Shiva, who told us in a funny way and reminded us again and again, has, he's been doing diligently over the last few weeks for us to all renew our membership and told us that how it costs popcorn and, uh, sorry, cola costs more in the theaters than in the outside store. And the same way, if we decide to renew it now versus Two weeks later, it may be uh, costly on you by $15. So $15, you could do something else with those $15. So maybe you can renew now. And even the guests, it's a great time to become members. We would love to have you all on board. So we hope to see you all. Please contact uh, Shiva. He's waiting to hear from you all. Now, the president also next announced that there was an announcement from the VPE, Ujwal, who said that uh, Roles for next week that have been booked are uh, Lata, Karthik, and Mahesh, but have booked for the speakers. And uh, GE has been booked by Toastmaster Jyoti, and all the other roles are open. And anybody who's interested should contact Toastmaster Ujwal. Next, we had the sergeant's address. The associate sergeant had taken up uh, the sergeant's role today. I like the fact that you had a wonderful take on the rain. You later shared with me that you had not prepared. You came here and spoke extempore, so good for you. You told us, it was a very different take on the rain. You said like how it was uh, the clouds and how the heavy clouds lead to rainfall. You connected it with your emotions and what feelings you might have and how it might come down in the form of expressed emotions like tears and maybe anger or frustration. I thought that was a very interesting take on rain making. Now you also shared with us how your kids protected you from the rain, which was very sweet. Only one thing that I would add to your sergeant's address is that you are the first person coming in and you are kind of waking up the audience. So can Maybe you can do something with like, you know, be it a little funny or be it maybe an incident that will kind of wake up the audience a little bit and get them excited about the session that is coming ahead of them. So that is something to consider. I know you will have more opportunities and uh, in future. So something to consider for you. And you had a good uh, way to connect <coughs> this resource, uh, rainmaking to the President, now you told us that what is the rainmaker going to tell us today? What lesson is he going to bring for us? So that was, I thought, a good way to connect it to the president. Interesting introduction. 
all in all a great job and uh, hope to see you more and more taking up uh, different roles. So let's hear it for the sergeant. <laughs> the ballots have been sent. So if you want to, you, you can all vote on the best speaker and the best table topic speaker. And next we had the president's address. The president had all the guests introduce themselves. It was wonderful to see all of you guests today. And uh, I think that, as he said, the rainmakers of Mekong have done a great job. And we have attracted so many guests. <coughs> we hope to see as members now. Now he also talked about how to be a rainmaker in somebody else's life. What is uh, what a significant role that is. He talked about his own personal experience, about uh, owning a business, and how his friends played a supporting role. <coughs> but that was only temporary, and later on he had to uh, figure out what he had to do to bring in the business. So he talked about the other meaning of Rainmaker, which is to be an influential person that supports a business or carries a business forward. So I thought that was uh, really useful. And he also told us that you know, the, how he has done being a role maker in his school. He has started four gavel clubs, which I was witness to. I was able to go and see one of those gavel clubs. It was a very lovely experience. And he stressed the value of being rainmakers in other people's life and what abundance it brings back to the rainmaker. So that I think was a great takeaway. And he said, let's promote the people that we call our people, which is a great takeaway. So uh, let's hear it for the president's address. <laughs> he next had the minutes of meeting by our secretary, Toastmaster Sharanye. Crisp, clean, concise, comprehensive. That is what I would call that address, which it is always week after week. So excellent job. and. Uh, you know, there were no changes or anything like that. So that shows how efficient you are and how efficient you continue to be. So great role model for secretary. Start looking at what Sharanya is doing if you want to be secretary next time. So uh, let's hear it for our secretary. <laughs> next, we have this prepared speech session. Before I start the ev evaluation, let me ask if both the evaluators received the evaluation forms and the guidelines before the speech. Yes. Please. Yes. So the first one, the first speech was an icebreaker by Toastmaster Kirtana. I invite her evaluator, Toastmaster Sharanya Prasad, to provide the evaluation. A fabulous evening to all the fellow Toastmasters and your esteemed guests present here, and the prettiest of all, and of course, universe favorite Toastmaster Kirtana in particular. Firstly, I'm going to congratulate you on breaking the ice so impactfully and giving it a great kickstart. So can we have a huge round of applause for her? <laughs> I would want to divide my evaluation into two parts, where you excelled at and where you may want to work on. So let's start with where you excelled at. Firstly, the title you chose. Who am I? This is all we want to know in, in Toastmasters before uh, in an icebreaker speech. So that was very apt. And um, Icebreaker is all about FIP, that is family, interest, and profession. And you've ticked all the three boxes and you excelled at it. The way you started, the first word you used, how your name was derived, and it just looked so good and uh, it was very good. You just told how it rhymed and how your mother was happy. So it was really good. And the expressions you gave, the hand gestures, the body language you used, my God, was just so amazing. And uh, it just took your uh, speech to the next level. Whenever you come behind the lectern, what we all admire here the most is the language you use. The grammar you use was just amazing and it was at its best today. The humor was also winged into your favor and it was extremely relatable to all of us. There was an interaction too. You asked all of us a question which was interacting and engaging. The one thing which highlighted the most, I felt really good, was when the lights went off and you used it to your advantage here and you did appreciate all of us here which made us also feel good. 
So now coming to the areas where you may want to work on is your eye contact, your voice modulation, clarity, everything was apt. But what could take your speech a notch higher is a little bit of movement. Walking right to left would take your speech a great, to great heights. The person here and the person here would connect more and it would be more impactful. And you could have also mentioned a little more about your interests, your hobbies. So that was, uh, these are the things. Who are you? Why are you a Toastmaster? From, be, from not being a public speaker to going out and sh be, uh, shining to being a public speaker, the journey you have expressed here was just amazing today and you really made it difficult for me to evaluate here. So congratulations, we are waiting for you to come behind the lectern more often and all the best for your speeches and the journey in Toastmasters. With this, back to the general evaluator. Sharane, that was a wonderful evaluation that you gave her. You told her correctly where she excelled, which was her expressions, body language, her language itself, the grammar that she used, she interspersed a little bit of humor, she used the switch off of the light that showed her ability to think uh, on the fly and include that in the speech. So all of the great things. Now see, it's her, uh, as you rightly pointed out also that since it is her icebreaker speech, we focus on family interests and profession. So maybe where you came from or uh, you know what, a little more about your family members, a little more of your childhood and things like that. But it is whatever you choose to tell us about yourself. So Sharanya, great job and you gave her the right feedback which is this is the first speech, so what can she do next? She can move around behind the lectern a little bit. So that is, you have done a textbook evaluation, you told her what was done very well, you told her a little bit of what she could do better and uh, great evaluation. Your speech, Kirtana, was uh, really off the charts for an icebreaker. It did not seem like an icebreaker. You might be confused that you are not a good public speaker. <laughs> we, had, we beg to differ here at Toastmasters. Uh, it was awesome to see you come up here and take on this role. We have seen you already in other roles. We're looking forward to more and more of your participation in Toastmasters. Wishing you all the best. Let's hear it for both the evaluator and the speaker. Our second speaker was Toastmaster Anusha Nayak. I request the evaluator, Toastmaster Majibin, to provide the evaluation. Good evening for the Toastmasters and welcome guests. My target is speaker, Toastmaster Anusha. What a great title, I must say. It was a very good jack of all, master of none. So what you have done in your uh, childhood days, you just ex explain. So first of all, I would like to say congratulations on your icebreaker speech, Anusha. Your speech was wonderful introduction to who you are. And uh, your heartfelt personal stories allowed us to know who you allows us to know you better. So it was a very good sp uh, speech, I must say. And your humor was a very nice touch in between, I must say. And uh, little area of improvement, I would say, because it is your uh, icebreaker speech. So definitely you would go for next uh, speeches. Little eye contact is required. And whenever you are giving your speeches, it is like up or down or somewhere. And your body language is like this. Okay. It, is, it gives you discomfort and also to the audiences. So just work on that little bit of improvement. And uh, it was amazing speech, I would say. And in conclusion, you delivered a heartwarming icebreaker, which showcased uh, your uh, storyteller skill. And this was a very nice presentation that you made. Very good animated and a very nice frame with the photos of yours. So it was a very good. Uh, I, like, I like it very much because I'm a data analyst, so I like it so much. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I look forward to uh, witnessing your speech as a uh, confident speaker. Well done. Back to you. Master Majibin for that evaluation. Uh, congratulations. I think this is your debut role as evaluator. So good to see you taking up those roles. 
you correctly pointed out that her speech was excellent it was a really different way of presenting an icebreaker which she did and uh, you told her that she told us heartwarming stories about herself which is what an icebreaker is supposed to do introduce us to the speaker and so we know a little about them their family their professions and so on you also gave her proper feedback as to what she could work on for the next time these are the two things that we look for in an icebreaker what they did well they are telling their own story so we expect them to be able to tell the story well and what they could do better that is eye contact and hands behind the back i think it distances you maybe from the audience a little bit so that is a great feedback that she gave you that you could maybe take a look at and work on eye contact uh, is something that i would also give the evaluator as a feedback because you were talking to her we realize that the feedback is for her but sometimes this is a speech as long as as far as the evaluator is concerned you are giving a speech for two and a half minutes <coughs> for us so look at the audience entirely i know your the primary target is uh, the speaker but there may be some things that you can look at others as well when you speak so that they don't feel left out when you are talking that is some feedback to you but other than that great debut job as evaluator hope to see you in more roles i will really not evaluate the speaker but i just wanted to say that it was a very unique way of presenting an icebreaker uh, with a set of slides and all that not only did we hear but we also got visual aids so now we feel like we know your family and your uh, pets we wish you all the best with getting a new the second pet <laughs> and we continue to take up more roles let's hear it for both the speaker and the evaluator next let's learn what the tapg team uh, observed today and listen to some metrics of our performance the timer i call upon the timer those master abhiman to give us report of the time time is not money time is life good evening fellow toastmasters and guests here is the time report timer report for today's meeting the meeting started at 6:40 6:24 pm the business session went on for 2 minutes 49 seconds welcome by sergeant at arms uh, toastmaster mamta went on for 2 minutes 44 seconds it was allotted 3 minutes introduction of guests was for 3 uh, minutes uh then came president balaji who spoke for 4 minutes 15 minutes 4 minutes for 15 seconds was allotted 5 minutes introduction of the toastmaster of the day took 26 seconds was allotted 1 minute report of previous meeting that is uh, reading of minutes of meeting was by toastmaster sharanye uh, took uh, 2 minutes 34 seconds was allotted 2 minutes coming to master of ceremonies Toastmaster Jyoti took eight minutes fifty-eight seconds. Was allotted ten minutes. The prepared speech session had two speakers today. Toastmaster Kirtana took uh, six minutes forty-three seconds. Toastmaster Anusha took six minutes fifty-seven uh, seconds. Coming to the table topics session, it went on for twenty-three minutes in total. The individual reports have been uh, written on the board. You can have a look there. Uh, we had nine speakers in the to table topics session of which one spoke uh, below 1 minute uh, five spoke above 1 uh, minute and three spoke above 2 uh, minutes the network networking session went on for 11 minutes individual evaluators toastmaster sharanye took 2 uh, minutes 45 uh, seconds toastmaster nazabi took 1 uh, minute 50 seconds thank you Abhiman for that detailed and precise <coughs> time report. That is exactly what we look for from a timer. It may be your second or uh, second, second time one. as a TAPG role taker. So excellent job. Also, we got introduced to Abhiman, uh, Toastmaster Abhiman's spiritual uh, side of life. Time is not money. Time is life. So <laughs> let's all keep that in mind. And also, he said. Uh, time bad news is time flies good news is you are a pilot so let's keep that in mind we all stayed under time today so let's give those master abhiman and ourselves a big round of applause next i call accountants those master sushrut for his report
Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and distinguished again. Uh, we clearly had all the speakers behind the lecture, not any Hindustani singers. <laughs> uh, so the report goes like this Toastmaster Mamata, four hours. Toastmaster Shushub, myself, two hours. Uh, Toastmaster Kirtana, four hours. Toastmaster Shiva, two hours. Toastmaster Abhiman, three hours. And uh, we had a Toastmaster Kartika one long break until next week. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest you uh, talk to him so that you can get better. And uh, we had one um and one small pause by uh, our guest uh, Shreya. That's it and back to... <laughs> Thank you Toastmaster Sushrut for that uh, humorous and detailed report. While you told us who counted, you know, who made so many R's and ums, you also reminded us that uh, Hindustani music has its own share of R's and ums. <laughs> Any fans of Hindustani music here? Okay. You, you're going to talk to them. They'll all come and talk to you about it next time. <laughs> Great introduction. Um, very, your humorous style as usual. Observant, alert, detailed report. And, um, you know, that's... You brought out a laugh in one of the mundane roles, which is really what I like. So let's hear it for Toastmaster Susan. <laughs> Next, I call upon PPE evaluator Toastmaster Gaurav. Thank you. Thank you. Again, good evening. <laughs> okay, uh, so as the parliamentary procedure evaluator, I did observe that there was one phone ring when the second speaker was giving a speech. So I request the members and the guests who are going to come next week to please keep your phones on silent. And no one uh, entered during when someone was behind the left hand, they only entered and exit during the applause. And coming to sex, religion and politics, we talk about sex, religion and politics, there was one talk regarding a spiritual guru. I would say it, it was ne nothing negative, but I would say it's better not to talk about any spiritual or anything related to that because we don't know how others might take it the way you speak. So that's all from my end. Thank and back to the general viewers. Thank you, Toastmaster Gaurav, for uh, that report. And welcome back to the lectern in other roles than as president. Now, uh, I will defer to the other members, the senior members, the founder members, to see if that talk was really what uh, uh, the guideline. Yes, Can I please. It? Because it's been pointed out to me. I was I just wondering no, because okay. we it's could be okay. good to it's clarify. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a point. That's the thing. I took the permission of the chair to talk. When I'm referring to philosophy. Not your talk, sir. I was talking. Uh, I think he was talking about uh, the talk about Sadhguru. Yeah, oh, I, can't, I, I was so, feeling guilty because it was No, no, no. <laughs> Yours was not at all. Uh, there's a, a, yeah. Now that the point has been raised, I would like to clarify on that. That's the clarification. Uh, there is a there's a line where you can be politically correct. There's a usage of the word politically correct. Please mark that word. If I for example, I'll take my own example. <coughs> I took example of Subhashit, Bhartanari Niti Shataka, and I talked of philosophy. And Indian philosophy versus maybe Western philosophy is a philosophy I'm talking. Philosophy, and uh, it was even used by Gandhi, for example. So philosophy as opposed to religion is different. That's why somebody used the spirituality. Somebody, I don't know who is the person. So, yeah. so spirituality is not being religious, let us put it. We are not bringing the uh, role of religion into this play. And the role of uh, religion is to put, Avoid it here in this, deliberately. There are other spaces where you can be reveling at it. So it is. If you want to refer it, make sure that it is referred in a such a way that it is politically correct. I said I referred it in terms of philosophy. So you have to be right, and if that's what uh, is about clarification, I have given that. Yes, thank you. And I just wanted to ask that. So and if anybody wants a little more clarification, I will explain once again, maybe independently, severally after the meeting. No, I think this is this helps us. We just wanted to make sure that next time when we talk about it, if we are clear about it. Yeah. So, yeah, for so example, thank you for he that talked clarity. about Sadhguru 
and I talked about Swami Vivekananda, both are real people. And he didn't refer to anything by referring Sadhguru, he no, didn't he mean did anything he did uh, religion. So you have to be alert about even the remarks being right or wrong. And you are right in raising the issue. I thank guess. you very much. Alright, so thank you Toastmaster Gaurav for that report and thank you sir for that clarification. So let's hear it for Toastmaster Gaurav. <laughs> Toastmaster Shiva for the grammarian report. Thank you, general evaluator. Here goes my report as a grammarian. Uh, I'll start off with the not so good usages. Uh, we all remember, could have been all of us remember. Uh, Abhiman as the timer role could have been Abhiman who is taking up timer. Please enter or exit during applause could have been please enter or exit during applause. Ice break speech could have been ice breaker speech. Uh, I was small could have been I was young. Uh, what can be and in English you know like your Indian languages you can't shuffle the prepositions. It has to be on point. So what can be what can the meaning of life be is the correct usage. What can the meaning be of life is the wrong usage. Uh, wake up the audience a little bit could have been wake the audience up a little bit. So one talk regarding a spiritual guru could have been one reference made to a spiritual guru. So that's it with the not so good usages. Now I come to the good usages for today. Uh, been there, done that. A notch higher. Progress and prosper in life. New zest. Uh, vast abundance of lushness. About time. The bad news is time flies. The good news is that you are the pilot. Ours and ums sound soothing and pleasant only in a Hindustani concert. <laughs> Back to business behind the lectern. What's in a name by William Shakespeare? Just because Shakespeare was there, it is in the good usage. <laughs> <laughs> My loving, affluent, conservative, orthodox family. Uh, universe's favorite. Progressive, academically oriented. Go out and shine. Tremendous amount of humility and gratitude. Conundrum will be resolved soon. S summer solstice, I don't know if it was pronounced correctly. Uh, summer solstice, I think is the time when the day is very long, something like that. Uh, life happened. Uh, it has come at a cost to me. Not an atheist, at best an agnostic. Uh, man is a manifestation of perfection. An immortal statement. Every single action has money value. Off the charts, on the fly, interspersed a little bit of humor, uh, ticked all the three boxes, extempore, extempore I think means to speak on the spot, uh, cloud seeded, in awe of this mesmerizing speaker. Uh, and then I come to the uh, people who have used the word of the day which was exceed. It was used by our master of ceremonies, Toastmaster Jyoti. Uh, speaker number two, Toastmaster Anusha. Uh, grammarian, Toastmaster Shiva Prasad and General Evaluator, Toastmaster Lakshmi. Uh, that's all, I'm back to the General Evaluator. Thank you Toastmaster Shiva for that detailed and very observant report of all the good usages and not so good usages. Uh, he said, whether you're a grammarian or not, using grammar, good grammar will make you look like one. So that was very useful and I think that is so true. If you hear somebody speaking really well, using all the right words, you assume they are sophisticated. It's a good image to present in the world. So use good grammar and that's what he said. So thank you Shiva. Let's hear it for the one. Now one common observation that I made about all the PAPG roles, which I was really happy about today, I want to mention is that you all went out of the way to introduce the role in an interesting way. All of you had something interesting to say about the role that you were playing. It is not the mundane, come here and say, oh, okay, I'm going to measure the time that everybody takes and I'm going to tell you about it when it's time for it. You all had a little bit of uh, zest to add to it, a little bit of spice, which made the role interesting. And when it comes time for us to vote for TAPG roles, <coughs> we now have competition. So thank you all and you know, good, keep up the good work. So let's hear it for all the TAPG roles. <laughs> Next, we come to the next session, which was the table topic session. So, uh, Toastmaster Lata Nahar, was it your uh, debutant role as table topics master? Who could have said it was the debutant role? 
Now, really nice to see all the new Toastmasters taking up these major roles and bring fresh perspective to the role that they are taking on and it's really interesting how much effort you put into it and you talked about, you brought out really good topics, you had fill in the blanks, you also had uh, laid out topics, fully laid out topics for people to speak on and all of them have spoken, uh, you know, almost all the time, so except for one, which shows that your preparation was really good for that role. So you had nice one-liners after each uh, speech which was very good and you did not let yourself take up the spotlight but you let the speaker shine which is the uh, purpose of a table topic session. You conducted it beautifully and uh, I hope to see you in more major roles again and again. So congratulations and let's hear a big round of applause. <laughs> Last but not the least. I come to the Toastmaster, Madam Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Jyoti. We all have seen her as a very eager participant, participant in table topics. Usually the last few times I had seen different table topic masters, she would always go to them and say, call me for table topics. Usually it's the other way around. Most people are like, don't call me for table topics. <laughs> she was like, yes, call me. So she is a very enthusiastic Toastmaster and she has taken up all the major roles. So this role is not new to you. But you did really well today. Uh, you had you told about the two meanings of rain, uh, rainmakers. What does rainmaker mean? Because when I saw first rainmaker, I only knew the business meaning of it. I did not know the other rainmaker. So I learned about the two meanings. You also kept your introduction short, which is uh, what a MC should do. You introduced us to the theme quickly and moved on to the session. You told the guests about the different sessions of the day so that they know what it is. You had brought in a good connection to Smedley using Rainmaker. You said lushness, uh, uh, lushness uh, in our lives, in order to improve the lushness in our life. And he brought up, you know, he founded Toastmasters. So that was all great. Now one thing that I would say is that get, maybe get your facts about Toastmasters, the number of countries, the number of uh, members and all from the Toastmaster website itself. You said 149, it's 144. So, the number should be whatever the is there on the Toastmasters International website. So maybe get your numbers from there. Other than that, I think you know you're you're almost seasoned right now. So you know the the different parts of the Toastmasters meeting. You don't need a paper for that. You can just speak about it. So that is one suggestion I would have for you. Other than that, really enjoyed your conduct and conducting of the session and a great topic. I think it was a great topic, it helped us all learn about what a rainmaker is and how we can all be rainmakers. So I think an excellent uh, session conducted by the MC of the day. Let's give her a huge round of applause. I will give you a few seconds to finish up your voting. Is there any anybody who has not finished their voting? I have a couple of general observations. So I think we did really well on starting time. Uh, let's keep up the good job. Time taken by all the speakers as shown by the timer report was excellent. It all shows that we've all come far as Toastmasters trying to keep up to the time slots that are allotted to us. Uh, role takers, all of you introduced the roles that you were taking correctly to the, to the guests so that they know what is going on. I, all of these are great things. I have a question for veteran Toastmasters. It's been playing on my mind, so I'll ask it now since I am GE. Today I thought there was a level playing field when we were voting for best speaker. Both of them were doing their icebreaker. Now when there is somebody who is doing a level four, project four, and then somebody is doing an icebreaker, we are voting for them on the same playing field. I wonder, I've always wondered if that's fair. That question I pose to you, I don't know. See, the point is in any Toastmasters, any speech for that matter, irrespective of where we speak, one thing, again, I take your permission, yeah, as a chair, sorry for not taking that here. Uh, the one thing fundamental is that in Toastmasters, or for that matter, any speech, how you project a topic is more important or equally more, equally important than what you speak or the content of it. So, if for example, I keep giving one example, that is, even a IPL cricket match, high uh, match, where advertising rates are very high. So, it's in the advertising uh, costs are in terms of seconds. 
So how you put across that message in short time becomes uh, the one that makes the impact. So here it's seven minutes or two and a half minutes, how you put that uh, content across to the audience becomes more important. So there is a level playing field between icebreaker speech to the best of the speeches or higher level speeches. So then that's a level playing field. That's why if you see the evaluation sheet, that is first they talk of clarity, C. Then eye contact, vocal variety, gestures, and a whole lot of audience connection, and how good the comfortable behind the audience. So these are common, irrespective of the speech level. So there is a level playing field in that from that, that point perspective. perspective. Thank I you, have. sir, for clarifying that. That's been on my mind for a while, so right, I, okay. I asked it. Took advantage of my position as GE today. And also the last observation I wanted to make was it is really heartening to see new Toastmasters taking up all the major roles. Uh, we welcome all your participation and we hope to see more and more new Toastmasters taking up roles. Apparently a person called Jim Rohn said, you are the average of five people that you spend your most time with. So surround yourself with Toastmasters. <laughs> Come here on Monday evening. Be a Rainmaker speaker. That's all I have. Thank you all for listening and back to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Lakshmi, for that wonderful general evaluation you gave today. And I'm sure we all as participants and speakers and listeners have gained abundance and found that we are worthy of making rain, worthy of being a rainmaker in someone's life and to start with our own life. Thank you and I uh, give the charge back to the president. Okay, firstly, I'll give you all uh, another 30 seconds for you to go ahead and uh, make cast your vote if you haven't yet. Please don't read this as a regular election. <laughs> <laughs> this is right at your fingertip. You don't have to waste your vacation because some of us think that way. But uh, for, the, for the benefit of guests, uh, yes, here we choose winners through a very democratic process of election. And at the same time, what we also need to understand is, uh, I was really intrigued by this uh, good table topic called what is success to you and I, 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 I uh, really feel success of Mekon is, is not really uh, Toastmaster Shiva speaking here is not really DTM AK Prabhakara speaking here or not really DTM MU Bhatt speaking but a boy who was struggling to stand behind the lectern for 10 seconds and now the same boy coming behind the lectern and he's got the audience in his fingertips. Right? So Toastmasters success and especially our club success is through Toastmasters like Sushrut. And what a journey you've had Sushrut. So I think let's take a moment to uh, clap for Toastmasters Sushrut for the sheer brilliance he's showcasing here behind the lectern and that's the result of consistency. With that, uh, without wasting any more time, we'll get to the results. Starting off with Tap G Roll Takers. It was a very, 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 very hard fight because I can see just one color for this role. <laughs> Never thought Hindustani music would play its role in public speaking. Toastmaster Sushma. session. I love how seasoned 
right? Uh, Toastmaster Lakshmi called Toastmaster Jyoti season. Of course, Toastmaster Jyoti is season. And Toastmaster Lakshmi is no less because of all the roles that she's taken and now she stands behind the lectern, she commands respect. Well, I mean, you also commanded a lot of votes. So our best role taker, MTG, General Evaluator, Toastmaster Lakshmi. For the best table topic speech, now this was definitely a very tough fight. Okay, I have never seen 29.4 and another 29.4 person. So our best table topic speakers, Toastmaster Gaurav and Toastmaster Shiva Prasad. best uh, evaluator definitely another toastmaster who we have been waiting and looking forward to in all the competitions uh, best evaluator toastmaster Sharane Prasad And last but not the least, the best speaker for the day, Toastmaster Kirtana. back uh, we saw Toastmaster Kirtana's first uh, table topic she did not reach her one minute and now we are seeing Toastmaster Kirtana who has gone 40 seconds before beyond her permissible limit <laughs> with that we are talking about the power of Toastmasters I end the session one two two 